So another popular option with our customers, especially our, our ag customers, is the, the Trollmaster Hydro X controller. And so we're going to show you some just quick what's needed to run our DHU based off the Trollmaster controller and, and how to quickly install these components on the Trollmaster. So right now we have the power supplier, power adapter hooked up, you know, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory there. But we also need a sensor, right, to track the humidity in the room. Uh, we also need a device, the satellite module here, this HS1. We also need some cables, uh, RJ12 cables to hook these components up. So next we're, we're gonna install, hook up this controller or uh, this sensor, a uh, three-in-one sensor, temp, RH, and, and, and lighting. Just pop it right in here under the sensors. Next, we'll install HS1 humidity station. And again, with the uh, RJ12 cable, right into the devices, port right there. Depending on the, the distance, again, from your controller, your hydrized controller to your HS1 station, you may need, well, this RJ12T splitter. A lot of my customers I do see uh, in many applications this is used. Just hook that up. So, oops. And of course, uh, we need the cable, RJ12 cable to go from the T, uh, the T splitter all the way to the HS1. Support right there on the top side. Now that we have everything well, assembled, uh, you see that now we've got some communication here. You know, behind scenes, we're gonna we're gonna go through and get things you know set up, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we have the the HS1, the hydrized controller, and HS1 ready. You know, set up to just for humidity control for our dehumidifier. I suggest for for everything else. Uh, uh, materials, uh, you know, information on how to address this or set up your Hydro X and you know, specifics with your HS1 module to contact the your, your friendly representative over at Trollmaster to discuss those specifics. Again, this is just specifically attaching this, the, the Hydro X controller, the HS1 to our Quest humidifier. So what we're going to need in this is, well, we're going to need our uh, trusty, our, our terminal block here. We're also going to need uh, some thermostat wire. Now, uh, this th thermostat wire is a short length, and so this does not represent the length that obviously you'll be using. Uh, you'll use, you know, a length that will satisfy the distance from the DHU, you know, to the the HS1 uh, module. So this it's pretty simple. Uh, the troll wire connection is a two wire connection to our controller. It's one of the simplest, if not the simplest, connect uh, connection that I know of. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn over the Trollmaster uh, module, HS1 module. You're going to connect. We're going to go into the 24 VAC first. There's like a little tab here, a button you, you press in that helps, that locks everything in once you uh, remove your finger. Let's press that down. Put that solid... A thermostat wire in there, solid core wire. Make sure that's nice and tight. We're also gonna use, now we're gonna move this white wire over to comp. Make sure that's in there, sitting in there, nice and tight. Now from here, with our terminal block, you're gonna go from 24 VAC to 24 VAC on our terminal block. So red, in this we've color coded red, so red, that red is going right here. One, two, second from the top. Slide that right in there. Tighten that down. Again, it's a very small, narrow, thin bladed screw, flat head screwdriver. Now the comp is gonna go on the Trollmaster. That's gonna line up with our DHU uh, contact. Right there, top one. So white wire up there in this color coded scheme. And then tighten that down as well. As in the other videos, 
Uh, we've got two flow terminals here. That jumper wire, please keep that jumper wire on there for proper operation of our DU. Uh, we utilize that once again for uh, condensate pumps that have a cutoff uh, in, in situations, potential flood situations. So from this point, um, we can now attach, reattach the terminal block to our dehumidifier. So as with other controllers, the same situation applies here. We've removed the, this terminal clip, this terminal block, and now we're gonna reapply it to, well, to our unit, to our dehumidifier. Uh, and again, the wiring, uh, we've got it notched out down here, uh, you know, to facilitate direction of the wire, nothing gets pinched. So again, try and keep your cords, your thermostat wire, uh, you know, below, not above, because if you get it above, it's you're gonna end up pinching the wire up here. There you go.